Anyway, jump down the hole. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Please, give me back my son. Sorry, old man. I have some unfinished business with this puppet. He's no puppet. Pinocchio is my little boy. He is unusual. Not many puppets have hearts. I'm not sure. But maybe he can help someone who's lost theirs. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Kyrie? What do you care about her? Well, we gotta go after him then. Inside this chest is shared ability high jump. Shared abilities do not consume a AP, and they improve your field abilities. High jump increases Sora's jump height and distance, so now we can get to brand new areas. All right. Hold on. Yeah. Now we can get up to places like here. Use this green Trinity marker. To knock over this treasure chest. And obtain a mithril shard. Now we can explore all of the detritus around here, now that we both have high jump and the fact that the water's gone down. This chest holds Dalmatians 73, 74, and 75. Jump around here badly. Let me try that again. No, Sora, go up the stairs. I know you're capable of going upstairs. Sora, you're embarrassing yourself. There we go. Okay, here. Ugh. I know Sora can reach that. Let me see if I can find another way up. Oh, there's a Trinity Marker here. Obtain... Potion. Another potion. And a cottage. Oh, there's something over here in this chest. Obtained a water gleam. This is another summon gem. But we'll need to take it back to the fairy godmother in Traverse Town before we can actually activate it. See, this actually leads to where we need to go, so let's not go there yet. Alright, Sora, let's give this another try. Good job. Okay. So up here, we have a cottage. And we'll snag that treasure chest there. Before we head back into the lower chambers to use our high jump to acquire even more, uh, things we couldn't get before. This treasure chest holds a tornado gummy. Let's see, I think this leads to road? Yes, it does. Okay. We don't want to go into th the throat just yet. First, we need to return to chamber six. So, uh, unless something interesting happens, this will be a reminder for future me to cut this part out. So 
but yeah, you here in the Twitch chat are very lucky because uh, there's a decent chance that this part might not be seen by anyone else. So be sure to enjoy it. Yeah, I guess, I guess you can say, uh, if you're wondering why I say cut this part out, uh, usually after I stream, I go into my editing software so that I can uh, record videos for later. So that, you know, I can preserve this for, like, the three people who care about this. <laughs> yeah. Although I will say that if anyone levels up, I will be sure to include that part in. I don't think anyone will level up, though, but you never know. You got popcorn? Excellent. Popcorn is delicious. Uh, what kind of flavor do you have? You got plain, butter, some kind of weird variety? I like popcorn. I, I like uh, the lightly buttered popcorn. I can't eat the super heavy buttered popcorn because uh, one time it made me made me throw up. Yeah, that's a, that's a fun little anecdote for you all. White cheddar? That is in... That's a pretty good flavor, I think. Actually, I'm not so concerned about, why, about falling off now, because now that we have high jump, we can actually get to a lot of these places we couldn't before. It's not fresh popcorn, the kind you buy in the chip section. Oh, I see. Okay. That's pretty good, too, I think. Ow. Ow! Oh, another potion. Excellent. Wait, enemies can spawn from up there? Seems a little strange, but all right. Hey, it's more experience. Man, there's just so many enemies to fight. All of them are flying and it's really irritating. Okay, we're almost back to chamber six. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? At least it seems like all the large bodies have gone. That's nice. There's uh, MP gift in action. Darn jumping barrel spiders. Donald's max AP went up. Oh yeah. Another thunder shard. No, oh, hold still. Where'd they go? I'll be very happy when, in later worlds, most of the enemies will be grounded. That means they can't, you know, hover around and annoy me. Just out of reach, like a gnat. Gnats are the worst. My dad and I went on vacation in Michigan a little while ago, and, uh, you should have seen the sheer amount of gnats that we found in our first, uh, hotel room. It was just... They were... They were just swarming the door. Thankfully, they don't bite, which is nice, but, you know, it's still irritating. Donald had more abilities, I could actually equip him with more. Oh, I also got a uh, treasure magnet at some point, but I generally don't use treasure magnet, so, eh. 
Okay, but now with high jump, we can actually make that jump. And a lot of the jumps that we needed barrels for previously, we don't need anymore. Obtained a Mega Elixir. There we go. Okay. Climb back up and try this again. And jump. Okay. Well, that's where the large body went. Oh, that air soldier just jumped right in front of my my fire spell. Get down, Mr. President! Alright, so in this treasure chest, there's a mithril. Okay, this chamber leads, and this passage leads us directly back to chamber one, so that we don't have to go through all of that again. You have to go through another fight again, because, you know, of course. Got him! Okay. Let's care of all of them. I think. I'm gonna go back to the mouth. I'm gonna use the save point because we got another boss fight coming up. Let me check my items real fast. Should equip another mega potion. I'm gonna put arrow, arrow, back in my shortcuts. Sorry about that, I was just checking my notes again. Okay, so now we can go into that upper tunnel that we almost went into previously. Now we can go into Monstro's Throat. Let's see, okay. There's a there's a chance for a rare variety of enemy to spawn in this particular area, but they didn't this time. But I'm sure we'll encounter them at some point. Actually, I know we'll encounter them at some point. Okay, there should be, right around here, a Trinity Marker. But we can't use it until the enemies are gone. Okay. What? That's not it! How many of these jokers are there? Okay. Now we can use it. Doing this nets us a lot of money. And a Mithril Shard. And we just gotta do ourselves a quick little bit of platforming. And make our way to the top. Of course, dispatching enemies along the way. Nuts! There we go. Okay. I'm getting a lot of bright gems, which I really like. So, so many flying and hovering enemies. They just, they never stop coming. Got a spirit gem from one of them. Okay, that's where we need to jump to to reach the end, so... 
I have eight cottages? I might as well just use them. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. I'm gonna jump right into the stomach. Go, Riku. A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kairi. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. We can do it together. What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart, at least he still has a conscience. Conscience? You might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side! Then you leave me no choice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Germany, I'm not gonna make it. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh! I guess I'm okay! Huh? It's back! This is the Parasite Cage Round 2, the real boss of Monstro. This time it can perform a devastating tackle attack like it just did, and will also occasionally spew venomous poison breath. It'll gradually sap your HP even after you take damage from it. Again, you can't strike the target. Fr you can't strike the parasite cage from the back. But yeah, aside from that, uh, you don't want to step in the acid for too long because you'll you'll take recurring damage. Ah! As you can see, my HP is dropping. No, just a regular potion, please. If you manage to knock the Parasite Cage over, you can target its mouth for a brief moment. Brief moment. Doing so will cause it to drop some extra HP and MP balls. Thankfully, you generate a lot of MP by attacking the Parasite Cage. So after you generate some, get back on the central platforms and start flinging more Fyra spells. It's sagging, gonna hit it in the mouth. Get some of that... Good ol' HP. See ya. Yeah. Okay, it's sagging again. Okay. Ow. Fire! Uh-oh, I got poisoned. Okay. Uh, not again. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, it's sagging again. Take that! In your... chest mouth? Heartless are weird, man. Ooh. Got some tech points. And a face full of tentacle. That's enough. Ah, ow. Alright, fine. Almost there. Another deflect. Ow. Ow! Come on, come on. Yes! Sora and Donald's max HP went up and Goofy's max items went up. Riku, 
Riku! Riku, where are you? Attain the power of time. Learn magic spells. Stop! Is it time for more plot? Yep, more plot. So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was... Taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell me, what can I do? There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. Riku, I sure hope you kept the receipt for that gift, because uh, I think you're going to want to return it eventually. Soon, Kairi. Soon. All right, now for a quick expulsion. Sora's still obviously very torn about what's happening. After being expelled from Monstro, we wind up in Agrabah. But we don't want to land there, so we're just going to go back to the world map. I'd like to push X, please. I'm pushing X. Advance the dialogue. Thank you. Okay, so this little... Uh... Oh, hold on. Oh, there's a new tournament being held. Okay, so after clearing Monstro, a new tournament will open up in the Olympus Coliseum. And that conversation that we just had with Sora, Donald, and Goofy, that conversation will occur after you've learned all seven spell types. Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, Cure, Gravity, Arrow, and, and Stop. Wait, are there seven? Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, Cure, Arrow, Gravity, Stop. Yes, there is seven. Okay. Once you once that's happened, go to the magician's study and talk to Merlin. As soon as the game decides to load. There we go. Okay. For completing this, you will obtain the Spellbinder Keychain. The Spellbinder Keychain is much weaker in terms of physical damage, but it increases your max MP by 2. If you enjoy casting magic, the Spellbinder is your keychain. We also obtained the Water Gleam in Monstro, so we'll talk to the Fairy Godmother and see if she can't revive it. Revive the spirit inside. Learn Summon Spell Dumbo! Okay, so... Oh, stuck. No, we're not going to go to the main menu. Instead, we're going to jump to the gummy ship. Unfortunately, you have to leave the world that you're in if you want to jump to another save point, which is something that they fixed in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is nice. But now we want to jump to the accessory shop. I'm going to see if we can synthesize anything else.
You can't make a cottage. No mega potion. I can make an AP up. Can't make an angel bangle, or a magic armlet, or a golem chain. Can't make a master earring. Okay. That's fine, though. I made an AP up. That's good enough. Oh! Yeah, as you can see. Once you complete Monstro, Peto gets his own house here in Traverse Town. Obtained the Geppetto Blueprint. Okay, so, Geppetto has become fascinated with the gummy blocks that we use. As you defeat more and more Heartless, he'll create additional blueprints for you. Let's just see what- let's just collect as many as that he has for us right now. Okay, that's it. Uh, there's also two other things. This treasure chest holds the Wishing Star keychain. It's short in reach, but it delivers powerful critical hits on its final combo hit. Which makes it useful. And if you check this teapot, you'll obtain the 10th and final Traverse Town postcard. We're just gonna drop it in the mailbox. And we'll be done with that little side quest. Obtained a power-up. Thanks for sending all ten postcards. You're welcome. Okay, so... Let's see, is there anything... Nope, not really. Okay, so... I think what we're gonna do... Actually, this is really convenient timing for, uh... All things considered. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Olympus Coliseum, complete the new tournament available, and if it's fast enough, see if I can't finish off the solo run of the Phil Cup. Then I think we'll call it a stream. We can also take this opportunity to use some of our newfound abilities to obtain some new stuff. First, over by this poster, is a green Trinity marker. Which gives us a Mithril. Then, you see all these uh, torches around the area? Originally, we were unable to do anything with them since our blizzard magic was too weak. But now that we have Blizzara... If my aim is true, we should be able to extinguish them. You extinguish every torch around the Colosseum. What? I most definitely hit that. Thank you. See ya. Deep oh, I missed that one. Yo, Goofy, why aren't you using MP Gift? Give, give me the MP Gift. Oh, you're seriously not gonna make me do this, are you? Ugh. Fine. Jerk. Now that all the torches are extinguished... You can open this treasure chest... ...for a Fyruga Gummy! Alright, so that's it for all the extra stuff we can pick up for now, so let's just get into the Pegasus Cup! Oh, spoiler alert, that's the name of the, uh, new cup that we've unlocked. I know, I've ruined the magic by saying the name a few seconds before I should have. Save. Alright, let's head in. Pegasus Cup. Together.
Ghost bandits. Okay, I'm gonna take care of the bandit first. Oh, Donald just crushed it with a blizzard spell. Good for him. So yeah, not only does the Pegasus Cup take place in a at a nice nighttime ambience, but uh, it's a bit harder than the, than the Phil Cup. There's more enemies, and there's more dangerous varieties of them. And again, just like the Phil Cup, there's ten rounds to this. Okay, who's next? Sluggers. Oh, the fat man got pushed out of the way, so it didn't get crushed by gravity. There we go. Good job, Donald. Man, increasing his max MPs really helped us out. <laughs> Goofy giving him the L, because they just took one. Pots and bolts. There's one uh, wave in particular that I'm kind of worried about, but that's because they're uh, a bunch of rare enemies. That we actually had the opportunity to encounter in Agrabah, but they didn't spawn, so we'll get the opportunity to fight them here. The big combo. I like these these bat these uh like team names. They're very funny. Right back at ya. Donk. I tried to deflect the fireball and it didn't work. No, hold. Stop pushing him back, guys. Okay. Okay. I think this wave is the one. Yeah, Toadstool. Black Funguses. These are rare mushroom enemies. Unlike the white mushrooms, which we've seen uh, in Wonderland and in Agrabah and, and in other worlds, the black funguses like to attack with poison. So as max AP went up. They are, they're also capable of turning themselves into metal, which renders them completely invincible to damage, yet they yet they still, very rudely, can, can still damage you. So that's not very nice. I'm actually going to call my teammates back to me, which is something that you can do. By pushing triangle, you can command your team to do something. If you're locked onto a target, pressing triangle will cause them to focus their attention on that target. If you're not locked onto anything, pressing triangle will cause them to come back to you. So you can actually use this to kind of direct them and help avoid damage. use an ether on myself. Okay, it's gone. That's the power of the keyblade. Pots and barrels. I'm going to take care of the barrel spiders because they are much more dangerous because they blow up like that. Oh, that was a surprisingly quick wave. Winner. 
giant impact. I'm actually going to take care of the large bodies first. They're just much easier to defeat at this point, because uh, they're much weaker. Ow. Okay, that's one. Like that fireball back. As you can see, Goofy's MP gift is really helpful here. You can see that Donald's been getting way more MP from, from Goofy. One last uh, fat bandit. Good job, everybody. That's the power of the okay, on to the title fight. It's some old friends, Leon and Yuffie. Okay, so Leon we fought before, and he operates basically in pretty much the same way, only a little more active. Yuffie will toss shurikens at us, and so sh she's the most annoying, so we need to take care of her first. She's also capable of casting healing magic, which is really bad. If you deflect the shurikens back at her, not only will she take damage, but she'll be stunned. Right back at ya! Can't see! She's also capable of throwing a giant shuriken after she takes enough damage, which, surprisingly, you cannot deflect. That was supposed to be sarcasm. Oh, Goofy's out. No, he's not. I thought he was. Thanks, Donald. Goofy's strength went up and he learned second wind! Man, Goofy's just learning all sorts of good abilities. Oh, I guess Donald and Goofy have been doing such a good job of fighting Leon that, uh, we didn't get to see him transform his gun blade into a freaking Halo Energy Sword. But aside from the bigger range and damage, he operates exactly as he did back in Traverse Town. Except with this kind of slashing jump strike that Cloud kind of had. But he's much easier to defeat than Yuffie is. And you can use and you can still knock the fireballs back at him. You don't stand a chance against me. Oh, I'm pretty sure I do stand a chance against you. You see how our last fight went? You don't stand a chance against me. Wait, it faded away. I don't remember that part. I didn't know it dissipated. That's interesting. Alright, Goofy's back. Oh, okay. It looks like he's just able to charge it again and again. That makes sense. But whatever the case, it's not gonna help him. Ow. Take that! Goofy, you intercepted the fireball I was gonna knock back at him.
Yes, please ignore the two people who are whacking you in the back of the head while you walk very slowly towards me. Ow. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Yes, please continue to look at me. Donald's strength went up! A jumping slash. Goofy ate the fireball again. Come on, you joik. You're not, this is gonna have to end eventually. But not like this. I refuse to let it end like this. I do not remember Leon being this durable. Come on. A little bit more. That's how you use fire magic, son. Okay. For completing the Pegasus Cup. Oh, I, for I forgot. It doesn't show the reward until after the cutscene. Whoopsie. Anyway, for completing the Pegasus Cup, you receive the Strike Raid ability. Once again, Phil being not, not as helpful as he probably could be. Okay, so... Strike Raid allows you to throw the Keyblade at an enemy at a distance, potentially stunning them. If you select the follow-up attack at right time, you can throw the Keyblade multiple times. It's pretty good. I think it's better... I've, I'm not sure if it's as good as Sonic Blade, but it's still pretty good. Goofy, you've got too many sweet abilities to equip. Stop it. Uh, but I think... Let's see, what time is it? Oh, yeah, I, uh, gonna have to put that on the back burner for now, but that's okay. Uh, man, we did a lot, and it's pretty funny that we're actually ending in the same place that we started. Eh. Uh, so, thank you for stopping by, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I hope to see you again soon for more. For now, this is The Defender, signing out. See you later.